Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. As you can see, we have some new toys for you. Together with our partner eShop, we were able to get these pile boxes. I love them. Me and basketball player, I'm jumping all the time. And I get these two partners to show you how you can work with these. But first, before we can start jump, we gotta understand the right technique. And before we, we, we can jump, we need to know how to land, how to jump from the box or jump from the higher place to lower place without hurting ourselves. So, as my partner Roman here will examine and Johnny here will follow him, you can see the technique which I will comment and explain why it's important. So, at first, we are working in basically a squat type of movement. So, we are trying to, to when we jump down, we try to drive, we try to drive our butt all the way down. We're not trying to lean forward and we're trying to get our body in the same line. We're not trying to move our knees in the horizontal line, as we can see. We're trying to stay in one line, so in the same, in the same way as we're doing squat or as we're doing some kind of hinge, we're getting our shoulders above our knees and our hips above our ankles. This is the most basic variation, when we're just trying to step up front with one leg and then catch the land, catch the power with both legs, with, with both legs. We, we, are, we can use our hands and our arms as we are trying to work with a proper technique. Because as we're going to progress, those arms are going to be very beneficial for us. We can switch legs and we can work with it for a while to see how stable we are. As we can see, he's super stable so he can, he can move on to higher progression. So higher progression is basically a little jump, kind of like a drop jump from both feet. He do just a little, just a little push to get in front of the box, and the technique follows. The technique following is still the same. Let's say one more time, just a little jump, just a little up front jump, and get down. Make sure your heels, after you get down, sticks to the ground. If you stay on your toe, you're putting too much pressure on your knee, and you can get hurt. Don't do that. Trust me. Now let's get to, to another progression which is jumping on one leg. So at first, again, we're trying to basically just step down to get as much, uh, to get as much comfort as we can to try how good we are. So let's just make, uh, make a step forward and get yourself on one knee like this. As we can see, we're still in the same pattern. The line is still the same. It's the same as we would do a single leg deadlift or a split squat. We're trying to remain in the same line. You can move. Up front once again. We are really trying to, we are really trying to make that step up front to make it easier for us. You can see the arms, as you can see over over there, with, uh, how Johnny do that. He's doing a running arm because this is a running pattern, which is functional. It's up to you, but I would recommend you to work with it as is it functional and as you're going to use it in the real life. Once we can master this one without getting on our toe, with sticking our heel to the ground and with nice and easy compensating, if I say, Roman, please, now, go a little bit on your toe, don't hurt yourself and show us how does it look if you lose balance and you do not compensate with your butt. Yeah. You can see what happened? I, I could see the pressure, how the pressure hit the knee, hit the kneecap right here, that's not what we want to do. Roman, now, please, show the right variation. If he's losing the balance, he's going to compensate and he's going to squat with his, with, his, with his leg. You see, once we're losing balance, you always try to squat lower. Another progression that we get to it is a harder progression, and we, do, we will do that little jump, still up front, the little jump from two, and get to one. Now, we're getting, we're getting our expectation, our performance a little bit higher, and we try to make it a little bit harder to balance. We're not trying to really jump from the box, we're still trying to drop, but it's just a little drop jump. This one is pretty easy, so we can move to the, to the last progression, which is being sideways. And this is basically a type of critical landing. Critical landing means we're trying to lose, lose our stable platform and fall on the ground. So instead of jumping, Roman will just sway and then he will lose the one leg and get to the other. 
As you can see, now he jumped a little bit, so I will instruct him, please do it once again. Keep, keep both legs straight, and now just lose the one leg. Yep. As you can see now, now it is much harder for him because it's kind of like quick hit, which really gets him into a critical situation he must handle. Again, the rules are still the same, but right now the pressure is more critical sideways than up front or backward. Alright, so that was it for today. It was me, Dan, it was Roman, it was John here. Thank you for your attention and make sure you subscribe if you have any questions. Please hit the comments below and we can't wait to see you in the next video. And in the next video we will get to jumping on the box.